hello everyone and welcome to vvg online in this video i am going to demonstrate how to add blazor components into already existing asp mvc app okay let's get started okay before i get started with how to add blazor into asp mvc for those who do not know what is blazor so basically it is substitute for any sort of javascript front ending framework like react or angular so let's get started. First, we have to check what kind of .NET framework is installed. So again, uh, we can write .NET and then info. So you must have at least .NET framework 3.1 or above to use Blazor into your MVC application. And this should be .NET Core 3.1, not the .NET Standard 3.1 okay once we have this confirmed let's get started okay in order to demonstrate i'm going to create two folders first one is i'm going to make um, a folder for our solution actually i'm rather going to create three folders so for the solution let's say demo blazer mvc okay let's cd into it Okay, once this is done, let's create Blazor. Okay, and we need MVC. Okay, once this is done, let's create the application. So, first we will go into Blazor.NET new and let's check out what is the command. So we have we either we can create Blazor server app, Blazor Blazor assembly app, sorry, or we can create Razor class library. So we are going to use the Razor class library project. So let's go dot net new Razor class lib. Okay. Our project has been created let's list all the files so we have all the files listed here our project and other tracer components that's great let's go back and we go to our mvc folder that we created before now add a dot net new asp mvc app so we have asp dot net core web app mvc so command is dot mvc so dot net new mvc <coughs> okay it is building up and restoring the project this is taking some time okay so restore succeeded we have created our project let's um, so if I go um, into our list of files and folders into our demo blazer MVC folder we have created the blazer project we have created the MVC project now create let's create a solution so dot net new SLN okay the solution file was created now add both the project blazor project and mvc project into the solution so dot net sln add blazor cs proj and then mvc mvc cs proj okay if we go to solution file we have our projects added okay we are now into our visual studio we have created a solution file and we have this two projects the blazor application and mvc application so let's check out the mvc application we have all the standard bells and whistles where we get uh, controllers models and views so this is our index page okay let's try and run this for the first time 
so we will do dot net build first it will build the project it will take some time okay build succeeded now if we go dot net watch run okay so we have our project up and running so let's check out as you can see it is up and running okay now what we have to do is go to our uh, solution and add the project reference of the blazer application so we go to dependencies add project reference we have our blazer application we add it okay if i go and check the solution sorry rather project file we have included our project reference here okay so now um, what we can see in the blazer project is we already have a sample component here which we can use so let's uh, use this component one uh, let's check out what is in the component one it is simply saying the blazer or components defined in the blazer package okay so we already have referenced our project now let's create uh, a div where it will demonstrate the blazer component that we have added okay let's call our blazer component so we have our code structure okay now let's say we add the weight html dot as you can see we have HTML and we have the all the intelligent intelligence so render component async and then we create our angle bracket and our name of the project blazer dot component one and then we need to send uh, tell the render mode which is server pre-rendered it should help render the um, the blazer component uh, speed up the uh, rendering of the blazer component now let's go and see if this is working so we go back to our local host and let's refresh the page and here you can see the blazer component is defined into the blazer package so we have <coughs> successfully connected our mvc to our blazer component this was the short video on how to add blazer into the mvc project you can create any sort of razor component and call it here. I hope you uh, like this video and got some information out of it. If you did find it useful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see content similar to this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.